We're growing our watermelon on the ground and vertically. That way we can have more and less space. This is actually something new that we're testing out in this year's garden. So you can see that the plants are coming out of the ground here. They vine along the soil like they normally will. And then if they make it to the cage, they can grow vertically. That way they take up less space covering the ground. What this should allow us to do is grow more melons in less space and also keep most of the vines contained within our planting area. So in other gardens, you may have seen that people will use trellises or arches to allow the melons to grow up and over their garden. However, we want to keep this a little bit lower. That way it doesn't cast too much shadow on the neighboring section here that we're eventually going to replant. Some of the watermelon may develop at ground level and some of it may develop vertically like you see here. If the melons do develop vertically, what we plan to do is support their weight by tying some kind of fabric to the cage and gently underneath the melon as it gets larger to support the weight. So if you do decide to grow your watermelon vertically, the type of melon that you choose is pretty important. We're growing sugar baby watermelon and they are a smaller, lighter variety that will be much easier to support in a vertical method. So if you decide that you're going to grow something large like what you would normally see at a backyard barbecue or cookout, that size might be too heavy and too large to grow vertically. So keep that in mind when planning your garden space and how much you want to grow vertically.